Okay. I'm here today in Brisbane for the AYCC, Alex Yungai, journalist from National Ethnic Multicultural Broadcasters Council. I'm here with a student from Namibia. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? I'm Lucius Bainjikwa. I'm Lucius Bainjikwa. I work for the Office of the Prime Minister in Namibia, dealing with public sector management, and uh, I'm, I'm stud on study leave doing public sector management at the University of Queensland, specializing in human resources and public sector. And you told me that you are working for the government of Namibia. Yeah. And you've been very outspoken person in Namibia. <laughs> so tell me, how did you manage to be here today without no, without not being criticized or without you not being rejected or being tortured by the Namibian government? I think uh, Namibian government is uh, very free. There's a lot of uh, democracy. There are a lot of avenues where people can speak and express their opinions, media freedom, and uh, we are allowed to talk about uh, or criticize our leaders constructively without anyone going to jail or being killed, uh, which, is a, 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 which is beautiful for a small country like ours. So what do you think the AYCC can do in order to extend the AYCC program in Namibia? I think it's uh, for some of us who are here now, when we are aware of what is happening, we will be able to mobilize young people back home to, to be concerned about the environment. Uh, African countries have, uh, are blessed with natural resources uh, like my country has uranium, uh, diamonds, and, and I'm hearing of uh, the, the, the black elephants also, oil in the pipeline. So it's, this is time to hear about uh, the environment and how countries like ours can, can take proactive action to prevent uh, in, environmental uh, degradation or, or mining activities that are at, that, that can cause at, adverse effect to the environment. So are you going to use the AYCC conference today in order to communicate with the youth of Namibia? Yeah, I, I think that's what I'll do. I'll share my views, uh, encourage them to wake up because uh, we are getting older. I'm an old student, but the, the, the environment or the earth we are leaving to them so if we pollute the environment or allow multinational companies to pollute, they will be the one living under uh, uh, adverse conditions. So I need to mobilize them, to encourage them to, to, to take on uh, uh, strategies like what, what this organization is uh, uh, doing and uh, create awareness about uh, uh, envir a safer environment. And how do you think um, about Australia in general? Australia, in terms of uh, environmentally or, or, or... You being here to study, how do you think about the Australian people in terms of um, acceptance, in terms of uh, assimilation into the wider society. Do you think the Australian wider society have accepted you or been encouraging you since you arrived here? Yeah, coming from a country, uh, we just got independent a uh, couple of years back, 20 years ago. Coming from a country that was racially charged, uh, I saw the Australians more accepting and uh, we would be in class together, studying together, working on assessment. I have been in church with Australians, hanging out with them, I, I believe they are more accepting and uh, willing to share their experiences and for, uh, for us to learn from each other. And um, what message do you have to send now to the Namibian youth? 
think my message to the Namibian youth is that uh, there's no time for complacency. Uh, we we had uh, or we have leaders that have really done a marvelous job in fighting for the liberation struggle, and some of them are in their 70s and 80s. It's now time for the young people to wake up and take up pressing issues like environmental problems and be concerned rather than uh, being at the receiving end and waking up later. So I want them to wake up, stand up, take on projects like uh, environmental change, climate change, and work on them for, for a better future. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure to be with you. Okay, thank, thank you. you.